Hello crafty friends, card number nine in full deck challenge number two. The prompts are magazine, weaving, vellum, flowers. I have a few magazines that I use for my crafting, so I'm going to go through those. And then my weaving, I'm going to use my magazine papers that I cut out for that. My vellum, I have a piece of white vellum to use on my project. And then for flowers, I have these printables from Digital Collage Club and I will make use of one or two of these in my project. I will put a link to the website below. There is a discount for you if you use my link. To start with, I'm going to go through my magazine and cut out pieces of the colors that I like. I'm not sure yet what colors I want to use, but I found this lovely teal. So I'm going to cut a piece of that and I'm just going to go through and cut some pieces. Now I'm thinking of doing my weaving part of my project using the magazine papers. So I'm just cutting out strips. You could use your magazine for a picture, a focal point or even wording. I then found this beautiful full page of flowers and then this full page of a light orange and that will be the colors that I will choose. I will use pink and orange for my weaving. It's just happened that I found those two pages. It wasn't planned. Sometimes as you're looking through your items to try get ideas, the ideas just come to you. It's not too late to join in the full deck challenge number two. We also have full deck challenge number one that's been completed. You can join at any time and at any stage. The rules are not very many. It's just about having fun, going out of your comfort zone and trying new things. If you're on Facebook, do join my group. Search full deck challenge group. I'm now going to tear my strips using a ruler into similar sizes. Mine are roughly about a centimeter wide. You can make them as thick as thin as you want just rip a few so that we can put them together for our weaving if you have chosen to use your magazine part of the prompts for the weaving i've used weaving before paper weaving like this with a magazine in an art journal page that i created a few months back i will put a link to that video below if you'd like to see how that came together I would love if you subscribed to my channel. Of course, this is the home of the Full Deck Challenge. And I also have tutorials on art journaling, junk journals, and making ephemera. Just hit the subscribe button and then also click the little bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. To start the paper weaving, put your first color of paper strips horizontally next to each other and then take your next color and go vertically down you'll be sticking the horizontal pieces one on top and one above the vertical strip i'm just using a drop of glue stick for this just to keep it in place alternate this and this is the beginning part of your weaving process Take your next strip and then do the same but alternate which pieces go on top and which go above so they're opposite to the piece you've just put in. Keep going until the piece is the size that you want. Once you have the size you want for your project, just apply some glued stick to the last strip too, just to try and hold these strips in place. Before I stick my paper weaving to my playing card, I'm going to add a piece of white tissue paper with some Mod Podge. I do this by default as a base for all my altered playing cards. It just gives it a good beginning to be able to add other mediums. Now, I'm not quite sure yet how much paper weaving I'm going to add and if I'm going to add any other kind of paint or color. So I do it by default just so that the base is prepped for any kind of additions I'm going to add. Once the Mod Podge is dry, I'm just going to tear off the excess tissue paper. You could also use the scissors if you want it more neat. I want this to be quite rustic. So I'm just tearing it. And now I'm going to add my paper weaving on the top. And again, I'm going to use the Mod Podge for this. You could also use craft glue or double-sided tape or even a glue stick. And then I'm going to tear the excess bits down to size. I'm going to do it unevenly. I don't want it all to be even. So I'm just tearing some longer, some shorter, just to sort of fit on the face of the card. It doesn't matter if it spills over a bit. I quite like that. For 
For the next step, I'm going to apply some white gesso. This is just to help everything blend in and become cohesive. So I'm adding a small amount with my finger on the top and sort of bottom edges, sort of blending it in. This will sort of bring the white part of the background and the weaving together. So it's not just paper weaving stuck on top of a card. I think it blends it nicely and it gives it a cohesive look. I want to lighten the overall look quite a bit, so I'm going to add some splatter using watered down acrylic paint. Once all the paint and dresso is dry, I'm going to add my vellum. I'm going to add my vellum as a pocket. Again, I'm not cutting it neatly. I'm just ripping the size that I want. I want rough edges and I want it uneven. It's going to hang off the sides, but that's the look I'm going for. So once I have the size I want to attach it, I'm going to run it under the sewing machine using black thread for contrast and just doing a running stitch all the way around. For this project, I am going to trim the threads. I normally like to keep them, but for this one, I don't want to have them hanging around. And now to fill the pocket, I'm going to create a tag from this printable from Digital Collage Club. I love the color of the flower. I think it suits my card quite well. So I'm just going to trim that down. It's quite large, so I'm not going to be able to use the entire thing. So I'm going to just snip off the word postcard that I can use either separately or in another project. To make my tag a bit more sturdy, I'm going to add some cardstock to it. So I'm just finding a piece of cardstock that I like the color of, and I'm going to stick it with glue stick onto there and then just trim it down to size. I'm going to use my corner rounder to round the edges and then I'm going to use some distress ink just to distress the edges. The color I'm using is vintage photo. And while I'm doing this, I've decided I'd like to make it look more like a tag. So I have a smaller tag that's ready made and I'm just going to use that as a template to snip off the corners so it looks more like a tag. And then I'll pop it into my vellum pocket and I'm really loving the way it looks. I also have this piece of cardstock that has sort of like vintage writing on. I really like the look of that. So I'm going to cut a small piece into a small mini tag to add into my pocket too. I tend to like to add multiple things into these little pockets. I like them a little bit overstuffed. I'm also going to round the corners and distress the edges of this one too. As a final touch, I'm going to add this transparent sticker pink flower inside the pocket too. I think it finishes it off really well. Let me show you a close-up of my card. I'm going to pop out that little ephemera out of the pocket so you can have a look at the background and see the paper weaving and the gesso and splatter. I think that turned out really nice. I'm very happy with the orange and pink colors and I really hope you like it too. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. I really hope you enjoyed it and were inspired to create your own. I also hope you were inspired to join in the full deck challenge if you haven't already. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Bye.